guys, I'm Sushmita from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of the products that I've emptied over the last couple of months and whether I'll be repurchasing them or not. So I do this video, I think every six months, eight months when I run out of a bunch of products and I tell you guys whether it's worth the buy, whether I'm going to be buying them again or not. So yes, if you want to know more, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first empty product that I have is the Nivea Pearl and Beauty Deodorant, which is their 48 hour long wearing one. So I don't think I will be repurchasing this because I didn't see a lot of difference when it came to the you know whitening aspect of my underarms. This does claim to do that but it does not and even fragrance wise I don't really love it. It is a nice uh, fragrance like it's pleasant but it's not very me. So yeah not gonna be repurchasing this. The second empty product that I have is the Divya Gulab Gel by Patanjali which is basically rose water from Patanjali. So I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this because uh, this is sort of the only rose water I'm using right now. Either I use this or the Kama one. But the Kama one of course is much more expensive than this. So when I'm mixing it with my face packs and stuff, I always prefer using this. But when I'm using just rose water as a toner, I prefer using the Kama one. So I am definitely going to be repurchasing this, uh, especially for you know my face packs and all of my like skincare DIYs. The third empty product that I have is the Beer Hair Mask by a brand called Manufactura. I hope that's how it's pronounced. So I picked this up last year from Europe when I traveled there, uh, from Prague precisely. And uh, I am so sad that this is over because this is literally the best conditioner or hair mask that I've tried. This makes my hair so freaking soft, like so soft that I just can't stop touching it. And I've spoken about this before in one of my favorites. I really, really, really deeply love this. And I'm just so sad that I won't be able to get my hands on this. If I could, I would probably buy like five seven jars and I would just stock it because it's so good so if any of you are traveling to Czech Republic uh, please buy this for me I'll pay you I really really want to find a way to get my hands on this I did search it on the internet I didn't find it so just for that reason I will not be able to repurchase this but I really really want to okay next empty product is the Garnier Micellar cleansing water this is their regular micellar water they have two variants so this is just the water variant and the other one is an oil plus water so I am not not going to be repurchasing this because I prefer that one a lot better and there is another makeup remover which I'll talk about in a bit which has been like my go-to product right now so yeah for that reason I'm not going to be repurchasing this this also is not very effective when it comes to removing eye makeup this removes my base quite well but when it comes to waterproof mascara or heavy eyeliner heavy eye makeup this does not really remove it that well I have to go four five times and still I feel some residue left back so so yeah, for a person like me, this is not like the best makeup remover. I need something that's a little heavier than this. So yeah, for that reason, I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Okay, my next empty product is the Sugar Plum Soko Neem and Turmeric Acne Serum. I think this was there in my previous favorites as well. I'm not so sure. But I have not been able to put this down. I use it every single night. Uh, I never miss it no matter what. And this has really made a lot of difference in my skin. Although I have a lot of scars right now, which is because of my heart hormonal imbalance and a lot of you keep asking me for my skincare routine but you know you see in my vlogs and you're like oh what happened to your skin so basically right now my skin is not doing so well and I have a lot of acne happening my acne has stopped coming but I still have a lot of marks left back from the acne that came in so yeah I'm in the process of recovery right now my skin is recovering and this is one of the products that's been helping the most so yeah totally gonna repurchase this I actually already have repurchased this so yeah I love 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 this to bits and I cannot do a day without the serum so yes totally totally repurchasing my next empty product is the NYX Matte Bronzer which is in the shade Deep Tan and the reason why this is empty is because I dropped it and I broke it and it was all over the place and I know I'm quite clumsy like that. I do break a lot of my products and I feel so sad like so 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 sad because this is like such an amazing bronzer. If you watch any of my tutorials I'm sure you must have seen this in like a hundred of mine because I use this so often like I want to use other products just for the 
sake of the tutorial but i just reach out to this because this is the best bronzer that i've tried for my skin and it works in a budget i'm not so sure what price it is exactly at but this really really works and i'm totally repurchasing this because there's nothing like this product and i cannot live without this so yes totally repurchasing it the next empty product that i have is the fall slash superstar by l'oreal it's their mascara and you guys know my obsession for this again use this in so many of my tutorials so many of my insta videos and i just love 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 using this i'm so sad that i'm out of this but i'm not going to be repurchasing it immediately probably like in a few months because uh, this has two uh, products one side is a primer and the other side is a black mascara so the primer side is still there like there is a lot of it left it's not dried out but the mascara side is completely out so what i'm going to do is use this primer with other mascaras because uh, it really does work that way so until i run out of the primer and run out of a couple of other mascaras i'm not going to be repurchasing it but maybe after 2 to 3 months i will definitely okay the next empty product that i have is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation in the shade 108 totally 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 repurchasing this this has been like my go to ever since i tried this out uh, this is like uh, after fenty it's like my holy grail like nothing can compare to the fenty foundation but this comes really really close because this lasts on my face so freaking well i don't have to set it in with a powder i don't have to keep retouching this like i just have one layer of this right now and i have a lot of marks like my face is filled with marks right now and you can barely see anything because of this foundation and again just one light layer of this foundation has given me so much coverage so yeah very long wearing perfect for people who have oily skin or combination skin like there is nothing like this foundation so yeah if you have oily or combination skin totally recommend this and i am like totally repurchasing this like probably in the next half an hour <laughs> the next empty product that i have is a kraylin supra color concealer in the shade fs40 as you can see there is literally nothing left and i am totally repurchasing this because this is like my uh, go to just like the l'oreal one so on days where i just have like one breakout or not too many of my marks are seen i just take a dot of this and i put it over that mark and it just disappears because this shade is fs40 which is exactly my skin tone and it camouflages my marks so freaking well so when i need like spot concealing this is like my holy grail because this it just looks super natural it really doesn't look like i have anything on like there are times where i just use this and hair and people are like oh how do you have flawless skin and i'm like no flawless skin here i have a uh, good makeup on my face that's about it so yeah this is one of those products that can cover your marks and your imperfections very naturally and yeah that's why i love it you do have to set this with the powder it does crease it does start to fade away after point so you have to set it in with the powder but still because of how amazingly it covers my imperfections and how natural it looks i'm totally going to repurchase this the next empty product that i have is the color bar on the go makeup remover wipes this is a other makeup remover i was talking about which i am dying over like i absolutely love this so i tried this a few months back and if i'm not wrong it came in a different packaging i'm not so sure but i did try this a few months ago and it did burn my eyes that's why i didn't get back to it but a couple of you guys uh, commented on my videos suggesting me to try this out and i'd seen a lot of good reviews about this. so i tried this and i am obsessed this is for like uh, 200 bucks and you always get it on discount for like 150 or 175 bucks and for that you get 30 tablets so for a month even if you use it every day for one month you're spending like 150 200 bucks which i think is a really good amount for a good makeup remover this removes my waterproof mascara my heavy glitter everything in just one uh, napkin like this is like a really nice heavy duty makeup remover perfect for a person like me it removes every every bit of makeup from deep within my pores my skin is just breathing to its glory after i use this because this cleanses my skin really well and yeah it is one of those products that your skin needs especially for a person like me who wears so much makeup i need to invest in a good makeup remover that removes everything properly and this is not that big an investment honestly so yeah totally 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 repurchasing this the next empty product that i have is the um, rimmel london scandalous eye retro gram mascara so i love this mascara to bits 
it's just like my L'Oreal one. I love this so much and I'm just so sad that it's over but for a while now I'm not going to repurchase it because I do have a lot of mascaras right now which I haven't used much because I just keep using these two. So I'll probably give the others a go for a while and then once they are over then maybe I'll repurchase this but not going to repurchase it for now but it is an amazing mascara. It's totally worth the rebuy but since I have a lot of other products I'm not going to be repurchasing. Alright my next empty product is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny. So I have already repurchased this because I just can't get enough of this concealer just like the Supra Color Concealer. This is like my go-to especially for my under eyes. So when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup, heavy makeup, my go-to right now is this foundation, this concealer and the Lakme 9 to 5 finishing powder. Like this is my current combination which is working brilliantly for me and when I just want to do spot concealing really light makeup I use this uh, the Supra Color one with any compact uh, just to set it in place so yeah I've already repurchased this because I cannot do without it I ran out of it and I used other concealers for like few days and I'm like no bro I need this so I ordered it and I already got it so yeah it is an amazing concealer it's very easy to work with very very easy to blend does not crease too much it gives you really flawless looking under eyes like it's the one that I have right now and you guys can't even tell the amount of dark circles I have it's insane the amount of coverage this can give so yeah a really good concealer especially if you have dark circles and you want a nice easy to work with concealer totally recommend this to you guys all right my last empty makeup product is the color bar kiss proof lip stain in the shade hot latte like let me just try swatching if i'm able to like if there is anything left of this product okay so this is what the shade looks like it's a really nice pinky brown very everyday kind of a color and it is a color that i've used a lot but right now as i have like so much makeup in my drawers already i am not going to be repurchasing this although i'm really tempted to because i love the formula i love the color i love everything about this but just because I have so many products with me and I really want to use them and give them a chance, I'm not going to be repurchasing this. So guys, that was it for this video. I really, really hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.